go ahead and talk about the data of growth and development. The data of growth and development. Look, whenever we talk about the entire world as a whole, pure globe ki baat karte, there are economies of different shapes and sizes. You will see that economies are very, very rich. Bahut amir economies hai. And you will see that economies are very poor also. Bahut garib economies bhi hai. You will see some economies are growing very rapidly. Bahut speed se grow kar hai. And some economies are not growing at all. Bilkul hi unme growth nahi hai. Right? There are economies which are very extremely poor and very extremely rich. But there are economies which are in between these extreme cases. Right? So it means that we can go ahead and we can label the economies on different aspects. Right? So first of all, we can have economies can be extremely rich or extremely poor. Second, economies can be in between these rich and poor economies. Right, beta? Third, economies can grow rapidly or not grow at all. Right? All these things are possible. So, when all these things are possible, the question is, how do we go ahead and how do we see this through the actual data? So let me quickly go ahead and share the actual data set we'll leave with you and then we will try to analyze it. This is the actual data set. And if you look at the actual data set, Dehan Sa Dekhu, very interesting data set. Hai. Try to understand. We are just looking from it abhi ekdam upar upar se. So try to see that there is enormous variation in per capita income. Dekho yahan par. GDP per capita, I am looking in US of US, it is 18073, 14331, 14317. And look here, 530, 400. So there is enormous, that's the first important point here. There is enormous gap between the per capita income of these countries. Kisi ka per capita income bohat high hai. Kisi ka per capita income bohat zyada low hai. So there is enormous gap. That's the first point. Similarly, if I look GDP per worker. Dekho, per capita and per worker mein what's the difference? When we talk about per capita, it means I am taking every person. So for example, let's say. Oh. I will not be able to show you my written one. I'm showcasing the book here. So, for example, let's say that there is a family, right? And suppose this family has better two people working. And then these two people, they have two children, right? And this person is earning 500 rupees, suppose, right? And the second person is earning, suppose, 800 uh, 700 rupees right so what is the total money 1200 right so when i say per capita the, how many people live in this house four so i will divide by four so per person how much money you have 1200 divided by four which means 300 okay and how many workers are there two so what is the gdp per worker 1200 and only two people are working. So divided by two, that means 600. So you see that per worker is very more, very high as compared to per capita. Right? So per capita may employed and unemployed, dependent, non-dependent, everyone gets included. Right? So when we go ahead and when we talk about per capita, it will always be less than per worker. 
ठीक है सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग देन लुक एट द गैप बिटवीन द एवरेज एनुअल ग्रोथ रेट इट इज ग्रोइंग एट वन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट टू पॉइंट फाइव फाइव परसेंट और यहाँ पे इट इज ग्रोइंग एट नेगेटिव परसेंट राइट सो इवन द एवरेज एनुअल ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ द रिच एंड पुअर कंट्रीज इज डिफरेंट ठीक है दीज आर कॉल्ड एज ग्रोथ डिजास्टर्स क्यों बोल रहे हैं इनको ग्रोथ डिजास्टर बिकॉज ग्रोथ रेट इज डिक्रीजिंग these are poor countries poor countries have low gdp as compared to the rich countries but at least they are still growing with time right so they can be they can come under poor countries but growing over time acha yahan dekho these are growth miracles what is the fact about growth miracles is their immensely high growth rate so look at their annual growth rate it is 5.7 6% which is not the case with rich countries leaving japan aside rich countries ka growth rate is up to 3% it is not exceeding 3% but look at these growth miracles these were not these were not rich countries ye rich thi nahi but they started growing at a very high rate of 5.5 5.7 6% 6.5 hence they are called as growth miracles ठीक है, so let us look at the first point बेटा, the first point says there is enormous variation in the per capita income across countries. so if we compare the per capita income across countries, this is very very different. the poorest countries have per capita income that is less than five percent of the per capita income of the richest countries. तो अगर मैं poorest countries का per capita income निकालूँ और richest का सिर्फ five percent निकालूँ उससे भी कम पुअर कंट्रीज का पर कैपिटल इनकम रहेगा राइट सो इफ आई फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई जस्ट गो हेड एंड फाइंड फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सो व्हाट इज फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड नियरली हंड्रेड राइट सो इट इज थाउजेंड सॉरी राइट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज गोइंग टू बी थाउजेंड सो बेसिकली थाउजेंड से भी अगर कम इनकम है सो दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द स्टेट हियर सो लुक हियर नाउ दिस इज एटीन थाउजेंड 18073. So, अगर मैं 18073 का exactly five try to find out five percent. So 18073 into point zero five it gives me nine hundred three. And look at the income here. This is not even nine hundred three. This is five fifty four less than five percent. So there are countries which have less than five percent of the income of the richer countries. ठीक है. That is the first point that you have in this case okay now if i just look at the second point here i will talk about all this thing in 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 uh, this in detail also but ek bari thoda upar upar se if i just try to go ahead and i try to show this thing to you so now if i look at this diagram this diagram is the cumulative distribution of world population by gdp per worker right and if you look here what do we notice here we notice that as the gdp per worker is increasing the percentage of world population is also increasing so more gdp per worker is associated with more percentage of world population and jab pura ka pura gdp per worker is consumed That means hundred percent of GDP will be associated with hundred percent of the population. ठीक है, this is cumulative in nature. अब यहाँ पे what we need to go ahead and we need to understand is कि पहला ten percent of the GDP is linked to almost fifty percent of the population. So try to understand. This is my entire population. अगर मैं इसका हाफ पॉपुलेशन ले लू इफ आई टेक फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन देन एज कंपेयर सो इन द टोटल वर्ल्ड देयर जीडीपी पर वर्कर इज ओनली जीरो पॉइंट वन इज ओनली जीरो पॉइंट वन राइट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऐसा है जिनका जीडीपी पर वर्कर इज ओनली जीरो पॉइंट वन एज कंपेयर टू यूएस सो इफ आई फाइंड आउट जीडीपी पर वर्कर GDP per worker of suppose country X divided by GDP per worker of US. Don't worry, I will make you understand this again. Abhi notes me bhi karenge. Abhi I just want to show you these graphs once. ठीक है? So if I find GDP 
of the country divided by GDP of US, this is coming out to be only 0.1. Matlab GDP of this country X is only one tenth of GDP of US. Agar mein iska ratio nikalu, ye 1 by 10 aare. To aisi 50% world ki population hai. 50% world ka population aisa hai, jin ka अगर यूएस का जीडीपी 100 होगा तो उनका जीडीपी सिर्फ एक रहा होगा समझो क्या कह रहे हैं हम कि पूरे वर्ल्ड का आधे लोग ऐसे हैं कि अगर यूएस में लोग 10 रुपए कमा रहे हैं तो उनके मुकाबले ये वर्ल्ड की 50% जनता सिर्फ एक रुपए कमा रही है आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस ग्राफ नाउ सो व्हाट आर वी सेइंग वी आर सेइंग दैट इफ आई गो अहेड एंड आई फाइंड आउट द जीडीपी ऑफ पर वर्कर of any country relative to US. अगर मैं किसी भी country का GDP पर वर्कर compare to US जाके निकालूं, it will be found that 50% of the population is actually having one tenth of the GDP of US. ऐसे ही, ऐसे ही, अब हम ये cumulative में चल रहे हैं, तो अब अगर मैं 60% of the population ले भी लूं, then also it is just zero, two tenth. Right? Even if I go ahead and I take 80% of the population, pure world ka 80% population mene le liya. Ye pure world ka 80%, yaha kahi tak aega. 80% pure world ka mene population le liya. To wo 80% population ka compared to US, sirf 4 10th wo hai. Haan, compared to US, उनका सिर्फ अगर यूएस का 10 इनकम है तो उनका सिर्फ 4 का इनकम है 80% ऑफ वर्ल्ड का पॉपुलेशन ऐसे रह रहा है आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट सो दैट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ डिस्पैरिटी दैट एग्जिस्ट्स दैट 80% ऑफ द पीपल हाउ आर दे लिविंग दे आर लिविंग सच दैट एज कंपेयर टू यूएस इफ यूएस इज अर्निंग 10 रुपीस तो दे आर ओनली अर्निंग 4 रुपीस 80% ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऐसे रह रहा है सो दिस इज व्हाट दिस ग्राफ इज टेलिंग मी now look at the next graph. The next graph is telling me percentage of world population and GDP per worker relative to US. Ab ye kya hai na? We have gone ahead and we have tried to explain this thing through the bar, bar diagram. Ye cumulative tha. Ye bar hai. And this is in 1960 and 1988. So dekho 50% of the population. Wahi same cheese jo se aara tha. That 50% of the population ka jo US ki comparison mein income hai. That is only one tenth. 0 to 0 0.1. 50% se bhi upar hai. Right. And in 1988 even after 28 years the data is almost the same. मतलब that disparity is maintained कि अगर US में someone is earning 10 rupees तो 50% पूरे world का population ऐसा होगा जो सिर्फ एक रुपया कमा रहा होगा they will only be earning one rupee if US is earning 10 rupee right so this is what this data is telling me there is only there is only less than 10% of the people whose income is very close to the income of the US सिर्फ बहुत कम ऐसे लोग हैं पूरा world में only uh, not even 10 beta. 5% of the people are such that whose income is close to the income of US. Are you understanding it? So that's the amount of disparity that exists in the world. Itna zyada disparity hai world ke andar. Okay. So now uh, let us go to the next graph. Right. So rate of, so is kya fact realize ho rahe hume? What are we understanding? We are understanding that the rate of economic growth is very, very substantially low. Bohat zyada kam hai across countries and it varies a lot. Kahi kuch countries hai, sirf 5% aisa population hai, jo US ke bohat kareeb hai. And remaining people are very, very low as compared to US. 50% population to aisa hai. Jo US ke mukable one tenth income earn kar hai. So the amount of economic growth it varies across countries, right? Okay. And then what we have seen is that the growth rate is not necessarily same over time. The growth rate keeps changing, right? So sometimes there will be a very high growth rate. Kuch countries ka growth rate bhot high hai. Or agle hi saal it will be low. And there will be countries jo bhot low growth rate pe thi and the next year it is going to be very very high. At last, 
A country's relative position in the world distribution is not immutable. Countries can move from being poor to being rich and vice versa. It's not that the position is fixed. This is not the thing. We have seen in the table that there are cases of growth miracles and there are cases of poverty disasters. So a country which is rich can become poor and a country which is poor can become rich also, right? So countries can move from being poor to rich and being rich to poor. I hope that this summary of 1.1 is clear to you. Now we will just write this down in the notes. Okay, beta. Thank you.